Hello gurus, welcome to another episode, hope you're having a beautiful day, we're going to jump the charts for Bitcoin, Ethereum, hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up on and turn on the bell, and right now Bitcoin, Ethereum is holding still, this is Bitcoin price dot live, Big, Ethereum is holding at 3,800, fear and greed index is now at greed, 72, Bitcoin funding fee 0 0.0001, so very low, Bitcoin price 67,700, Bitcoin dropping right now, um, Ethereum volume though is growing, which is interesting. Now the chart will flip to BNB USDT. Um, you can go to this website, Bitcoin Price Live. Also keep it on your TV. BNB is building up volume, and it's also creating a giant bull flag here, in my opinion. You've got like this huge um, bull flag that's forming, and I think it's going to pop up. Let's jump into the technicals for Bitcoin now. We're going to the technicals. And I sort it by the, my watch list. Um, some of these companies, I have seed invested everyone, so you have to do your own due diligence. MCRT up 9.9%, which is beautiful. NVIDIA was up 6.9%. Um, I would be very careful buying NVIDIA here. I saw some people in the Telegram saying to buy, that they're buying NVIDIA. My target is 1320, but the time to buy NVIDIA was when I was talking about it in 20, like, now the parabolic run is close to an end, in my opinion. So I'd be very, very cautious of buying NVIDIA here i mean it can run up still another 100 percent. but say you put in 1k you're gonna have 2k after a few years is that really going to be changed world is up four percent um uh persia up patesia up four percent link up a little bit doge up a little bit ethereum kind of even bitcoin dropping sixty-seven thousand eight hundred. um you can go the the main trend line that bitcoin all year has been trending on is this yellow one so I did expect it to come down to this yellow, but 56K was a very big support during the Iran-Israel war news. So that 56K head was a huge spot, but you can see stochastic is coming down, but Bitcoin dropping not so much. I mean, still quite a drop when I said everyone be cautious going heavy long here. I warned everyone about this a few days ago to be very careful going heavy long here. Better to set up longs after a big drop or some on a massive support. And I still think it is a bit dangerous to be going long here until we get to these supports. Um, on the weekly chart, still blew by, which fired the crypto group bot in February 2023. Still blew by now. Volume a little bit dropping off the last few weeks, though. You see that? Big drop off in volume. So I'd be just very cautious going heavy long here, actually. This volume is worrisome for Bitcoin, to be honest. Like, stochastic coming down, volume coming down. Resistance here, getting rejected off this, making higher low, a lower high, sorry, Lower highs, um, getting rejected of this trend line, which I did expect actually. Why? Because a symmetrical triangle usually, sorry, we've got a baby chicken now. Um, symmetrical triangle doesn't usually break out so early. Usually it builds pressure, builds pressure and breaks out 70% of the move. So I did expect to break out here. So I do expect that we could pull back to this yellow trend line, get a bounce and then finalize this, um, this triangle. But I, with this amazing support here at 64K, I do expect to bounce here and I do expect a big bounce of 59K. So I don't need to wait till um, it drops all the way down to activate trades. I want to catch the bounces. But to be honest, this bounce, this support looks kind of weak. Major support, I would say, is even here, like 62. There's a big one. 62K is major support. This one will get a little bit of a bounce. Still quite strong, 64 but 62 is where you get a big bounce. Hmm. I think I'm going to modify my trades. If Bitcoin manages to pull back a lot here, easily 62, 59K is in. So I'm going to change my trade. Um, you can see over on Bybit, if you want to trade like you're going to see me do, um, go underneath the video on your phone or laptop underneath. Um, I'm doing this all from my iPhone. Underneath the video, go down below, sign up to Bybit using this link. You get $30,000 bonus when you meet their trading requirements. It's the first number one exchange I use. The other two are also very good. Crypto Master Course to learn all of this. Take all the courses to learn in depth. They're each 333. And then join us in Telegram. There's usually a few hundred traders of your only one time online. So my Bitcoin trade, 60. so I've got trades at, sorry, this chicken is following me around. I've got Bitcoin trade 64,500, 60,250 for 10 Bitcoin, three Bitcoin at 64,500. So I want to modify this trade to be more on the strongest supports, to be honest. I think we could get a bigger pullback. So I'm going to pull back this trade here. I'm going to keep this 59K trade open. And I'm going to make another one on this 62K pullback. I'm not going to have it open so early. 
you could say 63,000. Stop loss will be 62,500. Um, this is the trade I would take, and target is getting that bounce to go to the final fourth to fifth wave, which is this big resistance at 80k, 88k. Where did I get this big resistance? You can see this big resistance is the re resistance line that goes back to the 21 um, bull market, 2021 bull market, two resistance touch, big bear market. Now it's forming cup and handle here. You can see big cup and handle forming on Bitcoin. And it's got a big resistance at 88k, and then if that cup and handle hits target, 115k. But first, we need to get out of this symmetrical triangle. So these are the two trades that I would take. One at 59580 That's the 10 Bitcoin one I have. Risking $500, $568 to make $30,000 per Bitcoin with no leverage. 10x leverage, $300,000. And this one at 62900 So I have to modify this to be 63000 63, Three Bitcoin. 63000 Three Bitcoin. So I've got one... Order three Bitcoin at 63,000. I've got 10 Bitcoin at 60,000. In this account, 642K. And my assets that I'm holding right now, 17% uh, asset ratio is MCRT. I've been buying a lot. I've got 52 million of it in this account. I haven't sold any MCRT. I'm just accumulating more. Um, USDT, 213K. But you have to also, everyone, do your own due diligence. I've invested in 80 crypto projects. So a lot of these projects I've seed invested. Um, Uniswap, I've got 4,909%. World, I've got 7%, Pocket, 7%, Doge, 6%. I want more Doge, but I want more cash. And I think Bitcoin, okay, I've only got one Bitcoin, but I think it's slightly get at resistance. I can buy it back 5K cheaper. Hmm. I like my portfolio. I'm going to sit on it. Um, Bitcoin. I mean, I want to have more Doge also. See, I've got I've been buying up MCRT world. I've got buys at three dollars sixty pocket at zero point zero nine, and Bitcoin. I've got two Bitcoin at fifty eight k. But I want more Doge. Let's take that Doge as well. I've also got it on this chart. Um, I've got Doge also on these charts. But let's see here. Why do I want Doge? It's Elon Musk. Elon Musk is back in this company and it looks like he's going to integrate it into X, in my opinion, everyone. But it's just my speculative opinion. You have to make your own decisions, etc. Um, but you can see longer term time frame, Bitcoin uh, Doge is on the same resistance as Bitcoin. You see that? The same summit, the same triangle and exactly on the resistance line. And again, still early to break out. Possible, but it's not usually. Usually you break out at 70% of the triangle, which would be coming down again to 11 cents and then breaking out. That's why I reduced my positions a little bit on Doge. And that's why, and look, stochastic and volume dropping off as well. And that's why you can see on Doge, I've got this order for Doge at, at 11 cents for 1 million. I think there's going to be a little bit potentially a drop here. I've got 213, MCRT 92, Bitcoin 68, Pocket, uh, World, Uniswap 53. Uniswap did a big move. I could start, okay, let me reduce Uni a little bit because I caught that move. And I want to be cautious if it starts to sell off Bitcoin. I'm going to sell 5,000 of uni at 7. I'll sell 5,000 of uni just to reduce my positions a little bit. And I'll sell... Oh, it already executed. Whoa. I'll sell another 5,000 of uni. A lot of volume on uni. Good to see. Actually, a lot of volume on uni. Let's check the chart. That, that sell order got taken up very quickly. So there's buyers. That's good. Uni, $2.90. Broke out, cup and handle forming. Uni looks good with volume. Cup and handle forming on the, on the daily. And there's volume here. I mean, some of the volume did drop off, but still quite big volume. Okay, I keep my uni. That's my updates in the market, everyone. Um, also, join us in Telegram. 366 of you online right now. And you can see everyone just discussing um, how can I buy NVIDIA and Bybit. I would be very cautious. You can buy NVIDIA on interactive brokers, the people helping each other. I'd be very cautious buying NVIDIA here, everyone. Um, someone thanked me for telling them to buy NVIDIA. Watch, I'll show you. That was the time to buy NVIDIA. When I was saying to buy, like when I was talking about it back then, now I'd be very cautious. But someone here, James, I bought NVIDIA 
from your call on 6 June 2021. Look at your call after three years, up 549%. He turned $1,200 into $7,791, 549%. Congratulations to you, um, TLC, amazing. And that was the time to buy NVIDIA when it was um, $175. I'd be very cautious buying it up here at $1,000. You missed the meat of the move. That's my updates in the market, everyone. Hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up and turn on the bell. And let's see how the charts play out um, and what, what's going to be happening after, like we have to watch it now, but I would be very cautious going heavy long here with lowering volumes and the market pulling back a bit. Thank you everyone, have an amazing day and I'll see you all again tomorrow.